Welcome back everyone to a clear night of deep sky astrophotography. Finally, after a good little while of not seeing me on camera like this, it is November 29th right now. Uh, Thanksgiving was yesterday and it's finally cleared off. And tonight I'm gonna image something in the constellation Orion, which I'm very excited about. I shot it almost two years ago, uh, this time of year. So tonight we're gonna photograph Messier 78, which is a uh, cool little reflection nebula located near the Orion Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula. So, join me in this night of deep sky astrophotography, and as always, my name's Trevor, and you're watching Astro Pilot. guys we're back here in the observatory tonight in the backyard and it is clear it is winter time pretty much and it is cold it's around uh, it's going to be around 20 degrees fahrenheit tonight and uh good imaging conditions it's going to be clear all night and as i just mentioned in the intro we are imaging m78 tonight and i'm going to show you what gear we're using for tonight's imaging session the best thing about this whole setup in the observatory, I have the ethernet cable run from the ASI Air Pro all the way under the ground into the house up there connected to our internet router. And I can uh, control this all from the warmth of inside from my iPad uh, once everything is up and running. So. Really nice uh, convenience factor there with the observatory. If any of you guys are serious enough about astrophotography and are able to build an observatory, it's by far the best way to go to get quality data consistently versus focusing so much time on the setup and teardown process. It's just very time consuming and very uh, monotonous after a time. So having an observatory just makes everything that much quicker and you can maintain that ease of operation throughout and be able to get a large amount of time uh, in a relatively short imaging period. Little information on tonight's target, Messier 78. It's a reflection nebula located around 1300 light years from Earth in the constellation Orion, uh, very close by to the Horsehead Nebula and all those objects. It is a star forming region with two bright areas of reflection nebula from stars that are forming and lighting up that residual uh, gaseous matter uh, surrounding that area of stars. So at around nine o'clock tonight, it's gonna be located right up there. Uh, we will have a couple hours to spare uh, between sunset and that time. So I'll either wait or get some time on something else. Um, have been doing a little imaging here and there when I have the chance, but just not filmed it. I did capture the Deerlick uh, Galaxy Group not too long ago. Got a couple hours on it. Turned out pretty good. But uh, yeah, back out here filming in the backyard. Freezing my hands off already. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything turned on. And wait for it to get completely dark, get focused, get, polar, uh, get uh, guiding set up once our target rises. And I'll catch you then. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so as always, here we are in the observatory. We're using my 8-inch F5 1000 millimeter focal length 8-inch Newtonian here, made by GSO, and along with the Sirius EQG HEQ5 mount on our concrete pier. Controlling it all with the ASI Air Pro from indoors. And camera-wise, we are using the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro along with the ZWO electronic automatic focuser. And over here we have the ASCAR M54 off-axis guider and our little ASI 120mm mini guide camera. So we have everything all ready to go. 
and now we are just waiting for it to get dark which happens pretty early at this time of year now so let's go ahead and get everything turned on and plugged in and we should be able to get up and running in no time so yeah back out in the observatory once again this is my favorite time of year for astrophotography and it always has my favorite targets so really glad to be back out imaging so yeah stay tuned for the rest of the video all right guys so it is completely dark it's almost uh it's about 8 30 right now and we have already slewed and framed up on m78 it's just high enough in the sky right now to clear the observatory roof and as you can see here we are all framed up on it and i'll show you the asi air screen here shortly um so yeah should get pretty much a full night of imaging on this target tonight um i plan on combining data from uh almost two years ago to have a decent amount of integration time on this tonight so let's go ahead and uh shoot over to the asi air and show you what we're looking at all right so here's a 30 tech 30 second test shot here there you can see the faint uh, reflection nebula of the target there and there's a lot of dark dust gas areas kind of throughout this whole area so uh that's the target we're shooting tonight we're gonna go ahead and probably do a refocus on the autofocus real quick we'll do that and come back and get the guiding set up and start taking our full exposures all right, so the autofocus is complete. We're gonna go ahead and X out of that, get into our guiding, start looping our guide exposures. We'll redo that. All right, we're doing two second guide exposures, plenty of stars, and we're multi-star guiding on two stars down here and our main, main star there. So let that calibrate, get up and guiding, and then we're going to start our auto run sequence. Plan on taking four minute exposures at negative four Fahrenheit and get about uh, five, six or so hours on this tonight. So it should turn out well. All right, guys. So here is our first four minute exposure on M78. Looking pretty good. It looks brighter on the iPhone screen here than it does on the iPad. And I'm pretty happy with it. The stars are nice and round and plenty of detail. So a handful of hours on this, plus what I got last year or the, a year and a half ago, should make for a really nice image. So a very interesting target, a dark nebula and a reflection nebula all in one. So yeah, we're going to keep on shooting the rest of the night and see how things go. And we'll go back to the home screen here. So yeah, guiding is leveling out at about 0.8 to 0.9 right now. That should improve over the night as it gets higher in the sky. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and close out this video. I'll see you guys inside. Alright guys, we're back inside in the warmth right now. Gathering some time on M78. And in the meantime, I'm going to shoot the rest of the night. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually back in the back room working on my other hobby interest that most of you probably don't know of, uh, model airplanes. So I'm back here working on this uh, Japanese Zero model kit right now. So interested, I might make a channel for model airplanes in the future, who knows? But uh, as of now, we're up and running on M78 and I plan on shooting the rest of the night. And stay tuned till the end of the video for the final image reveal should be a nice image hopefully so as always uh, thank you all for watching go ahead and hit that subscribe bucket button uh, like comment share and i thank you all for watching the video and until next time clear skies <laughs>